so today I want to talk about um, a new product that I have been adding to my skincare routine um, for 2014. I'm really trying to work on getting a really good uh, skincare routine going on while I'm still young and have nice skin so I can keep it that way as long as possible. So um, I have been using Witch Hazel on my face as a toner. So um, this is something that I saw uh, Lisa Fremont Street, sorry, Ashley of Lisa Fremont Street using. Um, and I thought I would try it out. Um, the brand I got is Humphreys Certified Organic Witch Hazel. So that's what it looked like. And I just picked this up at a, um, from a little organic store at my local farmer's market. But you can um, get this stuff. I know you can find similar um, product on Amazon. Okay, so it says that um, it was originally a Native American remedy and its therapeutic extracts have been used for generations to remove oil and impurities um, from even the most delicate skin with soothing, while soothing irritation and redness. So it says the things you can use it for are to remove dirt, oil, and blemish causing bacteria, to minimize pores and reduce fine lines without drying and to restore delicate or irritated skin after shaving and exposure. So I don't use this as a cleanser and I haven't tried it on um, any kind of irritation due to shaving, but I want to because my legs are very sensitive. But I bought this for the pore minimizing and um, properties. So um, I Try this out for a couple weeks, and first off, let me say it does do the pore minimizing, which has been awesome. So, like a lot of you guys, you probably have large pores somewhere on your face. Mine happen to be on the nose, and then this part of the cheek, and kind of in my T zone up here, um, larger pores. Nothing too huge, but definitely just kind of, I don't know, I notice it, and it makes me feel less confident about my appearance. And I've definitely seen that they have gotten smaller. So that's amazing. So it does work. And basically I've use, been using this um, twice a day after I wash my face. Then I use this and then I lotion. And then if I, it's the morning, then I put in my BB cream. Um, so pros, it definitely has um, helped with the large pores. Um, and I haven't noticed that it's been particularly drying, although um, I am lotioning twice a day. So um, I would hope that that would counteract any drying effect of any product I would be using. <clears throat> so that's great. Um, on the downside, it doesn't smell the most amazing. It smells, I don't know, it smells weird to me. Um, so all that's in here is the witch hazel, so it's just the witch hazel smell that I don't like. So, um, I might try a scented version. I've seen some uh, rose scented and some cucumber scented ones online um, once I finish this bottle, although you can see it's gonna last me a while. So that's kind of the biggest downside. Now, um, after I started using it for a couple weeks, I did notice I started to get a lot more acne and um, they're like the really deep down in kind of acne that hurts really, really bad. And it's just kind of like a red like hump on your face before it really gets to the outside and gets the usual, you know, the white center with a red around it. And um, so I'm not sure if that is due to the witch hazel or something else I might've been doing. Um, so I stopped using it for a couple weeks and um, those really uh, the giant acne went away. So I'm trying to add this back in you know, once a day instead of twice a day and see if that helps and kind of focusing it just in the areas where I'm wanting the pore reduction um, and not kind of on the periphery of my face where I was getting the acne. And so hopefully that will work out. Um, but I really, really love how good it does on my pores. So I really, really want to be able to use this regularly. So we'll see, and hopefully that will go okay, because however great the other properties of a product are, if it's gonna give me acne, I don't wanna use it. 
So we'll see. Um, I do want to give it another chance and um, to keep using it. But uh, I just want to let you guys know about it. Um, and this is a possible more natural solution to any kind of toners that you might be looking for. And uh, it's usually pretty cheap. I think it was $10 for this entire bottle. So it's a pretty big bottle. And you could probably find um, something that's not organic for even cheaper if you didn't want to pay the extra for the organic. So um, that's what I have to say about the Witch Hazel and I will update you um, if anything changes, if I use it for, I want to use it for another couple months. Also want to kind of see in the summer, um, I've been outside a lot more this winter than I usually am and it's also been colder. So I want to make sure that my face acting weirdly isn't also possibly because of that. So, um, that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.